We've discovered a secret video framework that's blowing up small channels on YouTube. This channel used it to get over half a million views with only 10,000 subscribers. And this channel used it to get over 150,000 views with just 1,500 subscribers. But the coolest part is you don't need to be a YouTube genius to make this work. It is a simple template that anyone can follow. And I've seen it work for faceless channels, gaming channels, documentary channels, personality channels, the list goes on. Even Mr. Beast used this framework to hit half a billion views on his most viral video ever. So yeah, this video framework is kind of a big deal. And in this video, I'm going to break down the five parts to this viral format and show you exactly how you can apply it to your own channel so you can fly past 100,000 subscribers. Plus, if you stick around until the end of this video, I'll give you a free PDF template of this framework, and all you need to do is fill in the blanks. So, I'm ready if you are. Let's dive in. Most small YouTubers dream of hitting 100,000 subscribers and making a full-time income on the platform. They do this through sinking hours into video ideas, catchy thumbnails, and quality editing. And far be it from me to tell you to stop doing any of these noble and creditable things in the pursuit of creative success. But there is one giant thing that's missing from all of those channels that's preventing them from growing. And it's how they frame their content. Now, there are a ton of frameworks that you can follow, but there is one that is baked into the human DNA that we cannot help but pay attention to. And the channels that are using it are seeing results like this, this, and this. But just knowing what this framework is doesn't guarantee that your videos will go viral. If you want to truly understand how it works, then first we need to travel back in time and learn more about the man who discovered it. And his name was Gustav Freitag. The year was 1863 and Gustav, a German writer, wanted to find out why some stories captured the imagination and hearts of people while other stories left them bored and disinterested. So he went on a hunt for a formula that would grab and hold the attention of any audience. And after years of studying the greats such as Shakespeare and Aristotle, he started to notice a special reoccurring pattern. Gustav noticed that there were five specific parts at the core of many of the greatest stories of all time. Stories like Romeo and Juliet, The Great Gatsby and Frankenstein. You've read at least one of them at school, right? And naturally, he called this five-part story framework Freitag's Pyramid. This framework, created over 150 years ago, became so popular that it's still used in Hollywood today. And modern classics such as Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, and Star Wars all followed this framework. But there is an interesting reason why this framework is so powerful. And it's not because it's filled with tons of action or sneaky retention hacks. No, put simply, it's because it mirrors the emotional highs and lows that people experience in normal everyday life. And once you've learned what they are and apply them to your videos, then watch time and retention will take care of themselves. So we need to know what these five parts are, right? How they work and more importantly, why they have such an impact. And in order to do that, we're gonna do two things. First, to give you a better understanding of a framework, I'm gonna show you how Mr. Beast applied it to his half billion viewed video. And then I'll break down each part even further and show you how to apply it to your videos. I recreated every single set from Squid Game in real life. And whichever one of these 456 people survives the longest wins 456 grand. This is the first part of Freitag's Pyramid, and it's called the exposition. This is where the initial stakes and the main setting of a story is introduced. Notice here how Mr. Beast sets the scene. He explains that he has recreated every set from Squid Game and that the last person standing wins $456,000. If you want to create a powerful exposition like this, then the most important part is a big challenge or challenges. This is what hooks the audience and makes them watch until the end. And I'll explain exactly how you can do that in your own videos in just a second, but first, we need to look at the next part of the framework. Now let's decide who faces who. Yeah! Okay, we're gonna draw one from here. Six. We'll just draw this one. Five. Okay. Follow me to the bridge. You have to use this blue piece of paper to flip that red one on the ground by throwing it. The first 16 of you to flip your red square moves on to glass bridge, which is personally my favorite game. Everybody gets a bag of 10 marbles and they have to agree on a game to play against their best friend. 20 marbles lets them move on, but by winning, they eliminate their best friend. Now we get into the rising action, which is like the lift hill of a roller coaster where all the tension is built. Notice how in this part of a video, Mr. Beast slowly increases the difficulty of each game. And this is done on purpose because it increases the stakes as the video progresses. This is a key part of the rising action. This is on you. Hey, victory. 
We had our first loss. Now we're at the climax. We've reached the most dramatic part of the story. Both the tension and the stakes are at their peak. And Mr. Beast does this perfectly when we reach the glass bridge scene. The bridge is huge, unforgiving. There are no second chances. Everyone is freaking out because they are so close to the end. And yet it's the one game that reduces the most number of participants. The climax is a critical part of this framework and that will help keep your audience watching for longer. Everyone make sure you eat up so you have plenty of energy for this final game. I'm thinking about winning all of that money right now. I'm gonna probably give most of it to my family, friends. That money's coming home with me, giving 100K straight to my mama. After the climax, we have the falling action where we start to calm down the story. In this example, it's done by the remaining participants reflecting on their journey so far and preparing for that one final challenge. This will determine which one of you wins 456 grand. Go kick the music on. And finally, the denouement, the resolution where the tension of the story is resolved. The last participant wins all the money, while Mr. Beast charitably offers the runner-up $10,000. What's key to remember about this section of a story is that you want to leave the audience feeling warm and fuzzy. Mr. Beast uses this framework from the 19th century because he knows it is incredibly effective at getting the audience to watch an entire video. In fact, if you watch any of Mr. Beast's videos on any of his channels, you'll soon realize that he uses this framework in some way everywhere. But enough about one of the most successful YouTubers on the planet. Let's break down how you can recreate each of these five parts to create your own viral moments. I said during the exposition stage that the most important part of this is the big challenge. So here's how you nail it. Vinicius Jr. is definitely the best winger in the world right now. His journey to this point has been inspiring too, with him coming from humble beginnings in Brazil to then him signing for the biggest club in the world. In this example, Vinicius Jr. had to overcome a very challenging childhood in Brazil to become a superstar football player. School was difficult for me for a very long time. I was told that I was stupid at a very young age, especially through primary school, and I believed it. It was probably exacerbating my insecurities and I just never tried. All of my five teachers just said that I was failing and I was incredibly difficult to teach. After that, my parents pretty much had enough. They gave me an ultimatum to either start working hard or they're going to find another school or even just stop supporting me. In this example, Davey had to overcome childhood challenges of nobody having any faith or confidence in him, leading to problems over anxiety and self-doubt. Now he's worth half a billion dollars. Now these stories hook you because they promise a big reward if you keep watching until the end. You want to see these characters overcome their challenges and find success. So when using this framework for your own videos, make sure to find stories or create your own stories where the main character has to overcome a big challenge at the very beginning and to make this even easier for you this is where that downloadable PDF comes into play which is linked in the description below all you have to do is fill in the questions on the PDF which will help you create an outline for your video which you can turn into a fully fledged script and in that script or outline we move from the exposition to the rising action building the story here you want to map out the challenges that your hero will face make sure that the challenges get more progressive aggressively difficult, just like Mr. Beast did with the challenges in the Squid Game video. And we do that until the peak moment, the climax. You want the biggest and the toughest challenge the character is going to face. In this video, it's when Vinicius is at his lowest point because one of his teammates, Karim Benzema, was caught saying, don't pass the ball to Vinicius. This climax is often referred to as the all is lost moment. And if you watch any superhero movie, it's about 30 minutes before the end. And now that the video has peaked, it's time to bring it towards its natural conclusion. And you do this by starting to resolve the big challenge that you introduced at the beginning of a video. Again, in the Vinicius video example, it's when he starts to make improvements in his game and it marks the beginning of his rise back to the top. And then we reach the resolution, the part of the video that should make the audience feel good about themselves. And you get a bonus point if you leave them with a key lesson to think about. When I look back and at myself in school, watching those Nike commercials and how amazing that brand made people feel couldn't have imagined that I cre create something like Udi that has a very similar effect on certain types of people. If I can give one piece of advice as well through this video is you're not too stupid. You 
are in a position to make a change in the world and just, yeah, enjoy the process. After being on the emotional roller coaster of a video, that final sentiment just makes you feel good about yourself and inspired to take on the world. The amazing thing about this framework is that you don't need to be an incredible scriptwriter to make it work. This structure alone will help you increase the retention of your videos. But as I'm sure you're aware by now, a great story is just one part of a puzzle that goes into making a viral video. Another key ingredient is capturing the viewer's attention in the first place to welcome them into that story. And YouTube has just released a tool that's about to revolutionize the way you and I make thumbnails. This is how it works.